Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Torn of the Golden Country. We're here in the Royal Gardens of Oresco, the capital city of Torna, and we are about to go talk to Clemens over there to advance the main plot. Now, all that being said, I mentioned in the previous episode that we've gotten into the part of the game that I don't really remember very well. However, one thing I do know is that the main quest progresses based on your community level. So I have to do side quests in order to actually get on with the main quest. I don't know when I'm going to hit the wall, but it's probably going to be pretty soon. Maybe even after talking to Clemens here. And since it looks like nobody currently in Oresco has any side quests for me to complete that might add them to the community, that'll probably mean going back to Gormont or other regions of Torna. But we'll see what happens after we, we speak to Clemens here. Good stuff. One of my favorite parts of adventuring. Lord Adam. And your majesty, Emperor Hugo. I expect there must be some sort of emergency. Quester Amalthus is also gracing us with his presence. Please wait here, or I'll inform the king you've arrived. Okay, so Amalthus is here also. Malos aims for the seal? Yes. He draws ever closer to the capital. Leaving destruction in his wake. Our path here was littered with the wounds of his procession, my lord. So, the quester's report was true. Noble Hugo. At this time of grave peril, you have afforded us your trusty aid. Your due will be our eternal thanks. I'm scarcely worthy of it, Your Majesty. As the Titans breathe, I merely followed Prince Adam against the peril we face. In truth, it is to him that your kind praise is due. Ah, the trust of the dread Ardanian throne. Tis a much-valued gift to our young scion of Eletta. Mark it well. It gladdens me. Your most noble honors pierce my unworthy heart, my lord. Begging your pardon, lord, would that honor were the only currency in this grave business. An armed band transgressed the sacred boundaries of the capital without regal assent. The act merits bitter punishment. Suppose you that our soldiers can subdue Malos alone? I... I don't... Indeed. The army of resistance fearlessly dashes to our nation's aid. They tremble not in the face of the mightiest of foes. To punish them is unthinkable. Yes, but... Zeta, what does not bend only breaks. We must suffer to Adam his just bounty. I hereby enfief you as Lord of Heblin. This is too much for me, my lord. First, I must busy myself with the command of the Resistance Force. We can't allow Malos to take the seal. I'd be much obliged if you could grant permission for the Resistance to move freely within your lands, Lord. As you wish. Brave soldiers of Torna, hear your king. Our country must make its own sacrifice to halt the terrible power of the Aegis. Indul II pledges its flesh and blood to the cause. I humbly confess that it was my own lack of foresight 
which brought us to this pass. I was about to say Minoth wasn't there with them. My brother! Or rather, my lord, what is your aim? Why give Heblin to Adam? He has declined our offer. Perhaps our good wishes suffice. Yet still, he holds all the power. He makes allies of foreign lords without permission and gathers together a fighting force. <sighs> Zeta, my brother, hear me well. The second world rests heavy upon my crown, I fear too heavy for my mortal neck. M Majesty. And this disorderly throne is more apt for one such as Adam. Brother, you mean to set my birthright on the caitiff's shoulders? Gah, I can finally breathe. What's wrong? You got asthma or something? It's all right. There's no need for concern. Lady Laura gets like this whenever she has to deal with formal situations. That's not ideal. You're one to talk. You've been waiting outside the whole time, just idling by yourself. That's so selfish. Cut him some slack, Laura. Minoth had good reason not to go, especially when his least favorite individual was attending. Least favorite? Wait, you mean Amalthus, don't you? I'm sorry, I didn't... It's fine. I'm a coward, I admit it. We should endeavor to make sure that Minoth steers well clear of the quester in the future. So, Adam, what's our next course of action? We may have warned them in time, but there's no telling when Malice might launch his attack. Indeed, we can start by taking a stroll around the city and seeing what the residents have to say. You can't be serious. Malice is virtually breathing down our necks and you want to waste time catching up? That's not what this is. We'd get to learn the lay of the land, too, and we get no, an idea of the overall mood. He's right. Establishing a good rapport with the residents will give us an edge when the time comes. Perhaps the E just feels that she can handle the situation all on her own? Fine, whatever. You all know better than me, so go on ahead. Bunch of bullies. We're not saying it to be mean, Mithra. We all have to make concessions, and I think even you understand that now. You've really matured, you know. Am I supposed to take that as a compliment? You should. Adam's been looking out for you this whole time. You know he's being honest. Agreed. You should take his praise at face value. Now, let's set to exploring the city. Plenty of atmosphere to soak up. Um... Who was that? Was that Clemens? Ah, yes. Okay, I do see a side quest up there now. The anxious guard at the main gate, okay. Hmm, but that's the only one. <laughs> Maybe I have to actually go back to, you know, Aletta and Gormont to see the side quest there. Uh, well, anyway, I have one. I can go check it out. Let's see, there's Clemens over there. We don't know when the Aegis will turn its gaze toward the capital city. In the meantime, please rest up and explore the city. There are always soldiers stationed at Aquila Watchtower. They'll spot the Aegis coming. If that happens, we'll let you know right away. Okay, then. Let's see, is that another watchtower there? Can I get in? No. There's nothing on the mini-map. Okay, the uh, front gate's open. really wanted to try 
getting up on the roofs and jumping around. Now, I went off in that sort of direction before, but I wanted to try to get over here. But it looks like I wouldn't be able to get through this area. Even if I did manage to get down onto the top of the wall from the watchtower. Okay. Well, let's take another look. See if I can make it work. how I can make that work. But... <coughs> nothing for it but to try. Oh! Blast! I'm overcorrecting. Still at just level one ichthyology, you see. What do I have to do to get a gene's ichthyology up? Uses crafting skill. Okay. about that all later. For now... Hmm. I was about to say we should talk to Mr. Anxious Guard here, but something else just occurred to me. There might be a uh, a new chat we could do at a fireside. And of course we could do more of a Jean's crafting over there. Let's go find... Oh, all of a sudden there's a bunch of side quests. Huh. Isn't that a fine how do you do? Okay, let me see. Um, Dana region? Is there... Yeah, there's a... Uh, a uh, skip travel point right next to that campsite at the southern edge. journey continues. Aren't we in trouble? Nature makes a fine ally. Chanel has something to say. Something new. I think there's still a ton of treasure out here in the Dana Desert just waiting to be found. I've been thinking about hiring an adventurer with a taste for mining to help me find some. You guys had a blade that was good at mining, didn't you? If so, I think you'll be able to find lots of buried treasure, not just here, but in all sorts of other places too. If I find any treasure before you, though, don't think I'm just going to hand it over. Finders keepers, that's just fair. Well, that kind of sort of depends on... This is becoming well, addictive. Was it stolen from someone or, some, or stuff like that? Okay. So, campsite... Yeah, there is in fact a new chat. Let's see what they have to say, and then do some crafting. 
Maybe if we wander around the capital, we can get a handle on the problems and concerns of the people. Good idea, Vox Populi. Torna has much to celebrate, technology, wealth, and peace. But I'm sure that people here are like any other, in having many problems, large and sm small and large. Yeah, the realities of life are more or less the same wherever you go. I wonder how helpful we can really be. Jin, if people are in need, then we should at least try to help them. We still have time before Malos gets here, we should make good use of it. Indeed. Perhaps by aiding the community, we will find allies in unexpected places. There is surely merit in trying, is there not? Maybe you have a point. I would have thought Jin would be a bit less cynical about that, but... Eh. Maybe that shows... You know, the inklings of what he'll be in the future. Right then, so Mithra has Time to get though. cooking! I'm kinda excited. Hmm. The moisturizing bagel. <laughs> okay, barbed tomato. I'm pretty sure I know where that is. I found those in Toragoth, didn't I? Uh, now that I say that out loud, I'm not too sure. Well, I can't make it right now, anyway. I can't make anything that she hasn't already made. Boy, I need those barbed tomatoes for a few things, it would appear. And creeping star peppers. I know where those are. Those are in Gormot for sure. Well. Drama on that last one. Quester. Oh, I need more sticky stick insects for this one. Yeah, who'd make a good lead? Right, and then I'm a little Hugo. nervous, to tell you the truth. I don't have charged shafts or muscle branches. I'll have to figure out where I can find those. Boy, that charged shaft is the sticking point for a few things, it would appear. Perpetual music box decreases out of battle party gauge drain rate by 25%. Jamming microphone decreases enemy detection range by 5%. Yeah, this is what I really want the Golden Seeker. will challenge myself today. Do I just have to make stuff, or do I have to make ten unique items? Yeah. None of these really look all that useful. How many of these can I make? Only two. Okay, let's make three of these. See if that does it suit your tastes. How do you like it? Actually, let's go ahead and make one of these. How do you like it? Okay, that should be ten items. Is that enough? Or does it have to be ten unique items? Oh. -ho. That was indeed enough, okay. Cooking is naturally learned by doing. What's for this? Use specials to participate in a chain attack. Huh, I need to do more chain attacks. Okay. Alright, this is Open treasure troves for the lock picking. Discover landmarks. Oh, I'm doing pretty good at that. Overkill a monster in a chain attack. I have to do that 15 times? Wow. Make every item the Bridget can craft. So this one is 
you know, 10 unique items rather than just 10 items overall. Okay, that's on the way here. I need to defeat two of those Rogals. I'm actually pretty close to that location. Okay, I have to make two more items to get mining up to level two. Can Bridget make exquisite perfume? at Seagull Fell and Gormont. Hmm. Collect an HP potion. 28 of 30. I only need two more of them. Okay. Walk a lot. Meet characters from the community. Oh. Wow. All right. I have to meet them. I don't have to actually make them part of the community. Make every item the djinn can craft. 11 out of 15. Wow. Specials to participate in a chain attack. Use this special. Finish an enemy. Okay, well. Wait a sec. Do I have exquisite perfume? I do not. Okay. Can I make exquisite perfume? A scent that comes from the heart. I cannot. I can make hopeful perfume. Eh, might as well. There. A cologne to covet. Let's polish up the structure. And I need him to write five things. Solid, if I say so myself. Yeah, who'd make a good lead? All right, that should do it for that. For that um affinity chart node. Ha ha ha. Okay. I'm getting distracted. That just happens sometimes. Right. Who wants to go digging? <laughs> okay, I have to get Bridget able to make exquisite perfume before I can do this one. Right. So someone wanted to defeat two of those Rogals? Let's get that done real fast. It should be right in here. Come here. Stay alert, everyone. Let's not underestimate that. Ready and 
little conversation can be nice, but it breeds complacency. Um, that was a kind of weird little chat you two had. Ah, uh, it's too far away to lure. Okay, it's coming back around. Get down here. Come on. Lure. Blast it, Laura. Lure the stupid thing. Pushing the lure button and it's not working. Oh, okay. Kind of inconvenient time for him to pass by. There we go. Sorry, I'm afraid we can't go easy on you. This won't take long. Oh, the door. <laughs> the Rogals and I got some HP potions. So Hayes got her thing in the bobber. I've improved measurably. And Minoth got his. I've gained more power. Okay. That's a back in Gor that one's back in Gormont. He still needs to get his level 5 unlocked. I need to do more chain attacks. Uh, well. I think we're done out here for now. Let's go back and talk to the anxious soldier. Poor guy's been waiting long enough. Where? Oresco, Royal Capital, that's where we're going. Main gate. And there's a bunch of side quests here now. What a pleasant stroll. Right. Where shall we head? Good travelers, can I ask you something? I'm not sure if you've noticed, but the lantern at the side of the gate has gone out. Doesn't that bother you? Um... What, that big thing there? Or those little things right there? The one that's right next to you, you mean? I can hardly even tell. Um, so yeah, to be honest, it doesn't really bother me all that much. What do you mean, not really? You're just like my brother then. He said it was just fine as it is. Still, hear me out. See, I'm supposed to monitor the area, so I can't afford to leave my station, not even for a second. As for the guy next to me, well, he's my brother, but for reasons I'd prefer not to go into, I'd rather not ask him. You can talk to him if you want, you'll soon understand. In any case, I've got to do my duty and keep watch over this place. I'm stuck at my post, lantern's out of reach. You probably guessed where this is going. Do you think you could light up my life a little? Eh. I'm certain it'll be worth it in the long run. Okay, I'm not even sure which lantern he's talking about, so let's set it as active. So that'll tell us where it is. Oh, it's that thing, that kind of box-like thing. There's a little bit of extra stuff here. Barney Stone Seeker Isabella. This one. I remember her. It's been a long time since I've been back, but this country hasn't changed at all. The Torning King's always had the favor of his people, but Zedder, the next in line, is a real ass. The royal heir he may be, but the man's a small minded but the man's small minded and only considers his own advancement. In fact, he's the only one who hasn't noticed his own behavior, such as his foolishness. So it goes with those proud types. Maybe deep down he realizes, but just doesn't want to admit it. Okay, we 
we've got someone fishing down there, but he doesn't have anything to say. Hmm. Is there anything actually down there that might be worth swimming around to find? I don't see anything from a distance. Eh, maybe we'll check later. We have the anxious guard to talk to. I saw the whole thing. Awesome work, you've really brightened up my day. That takes care of that matter then, which brings me to the next one. See, there's actually a bunch of lanterns that have broken down around the capital. I happened to notice them while I was on patrol and it really bugged me. As usual, my brother turned a blind eye to the problem. So, being the model citizen that I am, I thought I'd take the initiative and fix them all myself. Except I haven't been able to yet, not since I've been lumbered with guard duty. I reckon there are about four in total, one in for my shopping ward, one in Fabry Industry Ward, one in Oresco Residential Ward, and the last one was in Orem Storage Ward. If you could nip around and fix those four, it'd be a huge help, for me and for the people. Right. So... Storage Ward is off this way. The gate's still not open. There's something beyond it. According to the mini-map, at least. Hmm. Could I perhaps go around? It doesn't look like it, but I could head on over there to check. Okay, there's... Raider Chairman Muromo. Meh, meh. Do not suppose there is any chance that friends are mighty heroic warriors. Muromo in charge of shopping ward, so good judge of character become kind of second nature. Yes, it clear as cloudless sky now. Friends, just the heroes Muromo is searching for. I take it it's because of how nimbly those two are jumping around. <clears throat> Terrible thing. Gogols start take up residence in Pilgrim Springland Pelm. That's a weird looking name. Pilgrim's Springland Pelm. Oasis, no more place for resty rest. Makes the usual cargo route many much times longer. And one thing now very clear, Muromo now on verge of financial meltdown. Friends have no idea how dire straits are for Muromo. So dire, deeply dire. Muromo drowned pillow in tears at night. Moromo want friends to chase nuisance goggles out of Oasis. We'll drown friends in thank yous of success, but Moromo no hero friends will succeed anyway. It written in script of life. You scratch our backs, and we'll scratch yours. Okay, we've got an active quest already. Okay, I'm pretty sure we weren't able to talk to that guy before. Maybe I just missed him. But we he's available now. Chairman Secretary Popolo. Boss's busiest, busiest business pawn at market. As far as Secretary Popolo know, he married to work. Must be hard being chairman. Ah, uh, maybe truth is he's working too hard. Popolo wants him to take it easy. Popolo would prefer normal relationship than marriage to job. Maybe also holiday. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Anyway, boss is trader among traders, no doubt. Okay. Chairman Secretary Popolo, Trader Chairman Morumo. Okay. Hmm. Well, given the clothes, it looks like Popolo's uh, female, and Marumo's male. I wonder if she has the uh, hots for him. Maybe that's what she was talking about, why he shouldn't be married to his work. Okay, anyway. Um, Speffen in mascot Tico. A person is a mascot? That seems kind of... Um... Quickie. 
Hmm, what should I do? Ah, sorry, I didn't mean to mumble in front of customers. I was miles away. I've got this friend, you see, and lately he's been, I don't know, distant, absent-minded? Just a bit weird, I guess. He stopped eating his favorite fish dishes, so I know something's up, but he won't talk to me about it. But maybe, maybe you could get through to him? Would you do that for me? His name is Joey, and you can find him tending to the Armu. Sorry to bother you with a little thing like that. Hopefully it's nothing at all. Anyhow, thank you so much. Okay, we're gonna stick with we the shall it. quest we got. And the inn, that's interesting. I didn't notice it when we went through last episode. Fred. Heard Feltley Village has been attacked. A similar thing happened in Estim not so long ago. Thought the only thought that kind of trouble only ever happened abroad. World's more dangerous these days. But we should be safe here in the capital so long as the king's noble reign continues. He makes sure things are nice and peaceful and we don't get led astray so we can carry on living as always. Okay. Alright, got him on the list now. That's... how many new people? In including Clemens here, that's five. We've got to be up to, like, what, 81 now? Well, we can check that pretty easily, actually. Where was it on his affinity chart? Ah, there we go. Oh no, we're only up to 79. Hmm. What's down here? This is interesting. Doesn't look like there's anything down here right now. Maybe there will be later? Number one gourmet Omnom. Okay, look, I'm enjoying all this, but where are the lamps? Seriously, where are the lamps? Ah, there's one. Now let's go pick up those side quests. That that was annoying me. Having those lamps on the compass up there. Cloth Merchant Obibi. Meh, no customers, nothing to do. Meh meh, welcome to Obibi's Textiles. Oh, friends not customers. Obibi not have time for window shoppers, please to scram. What you mean I not look busy? It's none of friends business. But, friends make valid observation. Uh, nobody come to check out Where's of Obibi. Patience is coming end of rope. Not sure why, but even other Nopons seem to keep distance. Maybe time to pack up shop. If only there were an easy way to rake in buckets of gold in one fell swoop. Meh, meh, Obibi has it. Obibi recently spied Nopon, Nopon Little Pawn around town, never see before. Little Pawn traveling alone at young age is only one possibility. Must be Little Pawn of all rest hottest trade guild, name of Voltus. Would owe great debt if friends could ask Little Pawn for big inspiration. Well, BB wait right here, looking forward to news of good news. <clears throat> looking forward to news of good news. I'd like you to trust us with this. Okay. So that's number 80. Eight more to find. Anyone else? There's... Okay, Omnon here. Still hungry. They not serve big portions here. Meh? You want Omnon for something. 
Omnom in middle of meal now. We'll help later. Wait, hold thought of Omnom. Friends not happen to have food? This place makes Omnom angry. Never feel full after eating. If friends have food, could share some with Omnom, pretty please? Omnom happened to be one of the best gourmets out of all Nopon. No, Omnom refuse all food unless it make mouth run like water. Hoping friends can help satisfy appetite. I am certain it'll be worth it in the long run. Okay, so let me guess. I give him food until I reach 100 points. Omnom waited. What kind of food do you have for me? Sure enough. I don't have very many, do I? Huh. Whole Oopa in a bun. That's one of uh, Mithra's things, I believe. Worth very much. Uh, lucky colorful salad. Whoa. Okay, that jumped twenty-two. Ferris quote lettuce. Oh wow, that jumped like th thirty-four. White hot eggy curry. Only eighteen for that one. good stuff now that I only have four points to go. Ah, full, full up now. Great thinkings. Omnom feel like I just eat more than stomach size suggests possible, but that's surely just imagination. Now for dessert. Even feminine Nopon like Omnom have room for dessert. Looking forward to bringing up dessert. We'll be very tasty. Mm, these are really Moorish. Omnom loves dessert. In fact, Omnom loves sweet and salty. I'm not giving him those. Sorry, giving her those. Eighteen. Only twenty. Okay. Hmm. She really liked the inconceivable pudding. I want to keep the rich platinum bonbons, thank you very much. Not to worry, still room left in Omnom's seventh belly, not full yet. Especially silver sparkly candy, Omnom cannot forget rich smell and exquisite taste. Yeah, well, I'm not giving you the platinum bonbons. I'm using those. Okay, so let's talk to the anxious guard. Hey there, did you miss us? We fixed your faulty lanterns. Remind me, why are you... We're the ones running around doing odd jobs for this guy? Let's try to put things into perspective, Mithra. It's for the good of the people. Great, thanks a bunch. That's a load off my mind. It would have been a while before I could get around to fixing those. Yo, Chelsea. Bro, what's up? If the lanterns were bothering you so much, why didn't you just ask me? I could have fixed them for you. Nah, I didn't want to have to rely on you this time. I've been relying on you most of my life, ever since Mum went. Gwahaha! Chalcedony! Have you got a minute? Sarge! Sorry to barge in, but I've got urgent news to tell you. Chalcedony, you're promoted. Come join the squad. Wait, I'm... Huh? But what did I do? He went and fixed those lanterns. None of my men in my none of the men in my regiment even took notice of them. Proof enough to show your dedication to bettering the lives of our citizens, something our squad severely lacking. Um 
That may be so, but it wasn't actually me who repaired them. It was these kind travelers. That so? Well then, travelers, how would you like a place in our ranks? Thanks, but no. Ha ha ha, very blunt. We may have repaired the lanterns, but Chalcedony here was the one who asked us to fix them. In all honesty, it's him you should be thanking. I couldn't agree more. The lad's more than talented enough to join my team. Are... are you absolutely sure about this? What, you prefer to stay on guard duty? Didn't you once say it was dull as a sack of grom rice? Come on, Chalzy, this is your big chance. You can't turn down an offer like this. Bro, you're doing it again. Uh... Sarge, I'm in. Just as long as you can give me a job I can really sink my teeth into. Wah ha Oh, there's no shortage of those, believe you me. That's more like it. Do us proud, bro. You can count on it. Hmm. Thank you, all of you. Everything's been happening so fast, I never expected any of this. And I just owe it all and I just owe all of it to you. Thank you so much. Are you going to be alright without your big brother? Totally. I've been trying to work my way up the ladder for a while now. I don't need him hand holding me. Oh, I see. Well, if that's what you've decided. It is. Again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. There we go. Finally got someone. Much appreciated. I'm glad to have gotten praise from the squad leader Onyx, but truth be told, it's still hard getting acknowledged by the one person who matters. Alright. Community level 2, required for next level 16. Okay, and there's some... There's one more side quest over in... Aletta. With that blade. What was his name again? Krogain. Krogani? The Crackerjack Blade, whichever. Okay, yeah, that's the guy... No, the lady who wants us to find all the Nopon drugs, but there's still more to go there. Benny in Hyber Village. He has something. I should go talk to him. But, uh, not quite yet. One less problem in the world. You're fixing all the unlit lanterns has led to Chalcedony getting promoted by the squad leader. His days of guarding the gates with his brother are now over. Okay. Scruffy Armu Herder Joey. The uh, girl from the inn wanted us to talk to him. Huh? Yeah, I'm Joey. What's it to you? What? Tico sent you? Gah, so nosy. I, al I told her already. Everything's okay. Oh, fine. You really want to know? Three of my Armus have run away. It's my own dumb fault. I thought I'd see if Armus have a homing instinct. Spoiler warning, they don't. Not a single one of them got back. What a waste of time. Um, so, if you see any Armus running around out there, could you maybe bring them back here, please? I think you could probably find them easy enough by following their tracks. The names of the three lost Armus are Yoma, Aji, and Washish. They should come when you call them, and don't try to, like, fight them or tip them over, okay? Cheers and all. Cow tipping is a thing in Torna. Okay. Never really saw the point of that. Okay, what's... Oh, armor tracks. Okay. Slow and steady. Laser focus. These tracks, Armus for sure. Looks like they went this way. Alright. We might be able to take care of that watering hole problem on the way. I don't know exactly where that is, but maybe that's it right up ahead. Okay, there's three armors, that's right, so some of them go this way, and others go that way. What? Oh. Yep, 
Indeed. The uh, watering hole thing with the goggles. Wow, looks like something out of a painting. Get back, Laura. I'll clear the way. Someone's eager. Look around you, Jin. Is it just the goggles keeping a tight formation? We're stronger as a single unit. If you go off on your own, you're leaving yourself wide open. I'll bear that in mind. Glad to hear it. I just don't want to be carrying around dead weight. What he really means is he doesn't want you to get hurt. Hey, I can speak for myself. Anyway, let's move out. Am I just going to get launched right into a fight with these guys? I was trying to follow the armor tracks. Um. Okay, I was about to say, why is the screen still black? What level am I? 34, 33, 33, okay. I should be able to do this, but uh, he's gonna call for help. Chests are requiring lockpicking level three. Aren't we interested? Listen to the sound of my voice. Okay, let me see. Um, oh, wrong button. Okay, what's up with this Gogol side quest? What exactly do I have to do? Oasis for all, that was it. Defeat the Laract Gogols in Pelm. Okay, I've got one, there's two more to go. Come on in. These guys should be no problem. Oh, I was about to try a chain attack. Well, I'm running low on those platinum bonbons. I better make some more as soon as I can. Is that it? Just that last guy here? Let's take him out. These guys should be no problem. I have no fear with Lady Laura by my side.
Okay, that can't be good. good? I doubt it, but... <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going? Retreating to regroup? I didn't think Gogol were capable of strategic thinking. Jen, they're getting away. It appears somebody may be leading them, so what now? I say we go after the leader, take them out of the picture, and the Gogols will be up a creek without a paddle. I agree. They'll be hard-pressed to make a comeback after that. Exactly. And I mean, we're all professionals here, right? It's not like they'll give us any trouble. Right. I'm ready whenever you are. They're not getting away this time. Haha, <laughs> I'm starting to wonder if I'll even have to lift my sword. I think you'll find that's my line. Alright, then let's focus our efforts on finding the large one. We should be able to reach higher ground from the left-hand side. Yeah, we know how to get up there. Aren't we intrepid? But... Finding him once we do get up there. I'm not convinced it'll be as easy as all that. Okay, these weren't the armor tracks I was following originally, but this seems to be where I've ended up. Aren't we intrepid? Spoiling for a fight. Oh dear. This again. Oh man. Open 
mind if I do? Okay. Got some level ups there. This armor went a long way, didn't it? This is becoming I'm something of an expert. Is it just me, or is that the Gogol we're supposed to be hunting? Take this thing out. I mean, they're usually aggressive, but it seems to be ignoring me. These guys should be no problem. This is just the way I do things. We are ready to excel. Time for one here. Time to storm. Spinning wheels. Ready to go. On your mark. Okie dokie. Wow, that's a lot of orbs. Um, phooey, what to do? What to do? Um, 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 um. Don't expect to recover from this. Okay, Bridget, break the water orb. This is far from over. Um. Jin, sure. Jin, I need you up front. Zero blade. It's not over. Not by a long shot. Sick ball. 
burnt. <laughs> this is the part I like most. Okay, a gym. I shall need it to be more capable of Magnificent. Obstinate thing. Magnificent. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Jim, break that wind door, please. Not over. Not by a long shot. Uh, Mithra? Mithra! Oh, May I follow? And let's see. Yeah, Jim. Hidden blade! Oops. Hundred year way! Obstinate thing. Excellent. Okay, who next? Hmm. Hayes? Hayes, deal with it. Well, worse. Swift Gale! I got the overkill, I did a chain attack. Several of them wanted both of those things. Fine. I got your back. Overkill and chain attack twice, okay. Fisticuffs favor the prepare. Five full blade combos. <laughs> Max Affinity, okay. Didn't he want... Yeah, use specials to participate in a chain of... Wait a second. He did. That should be at one. I mean, I literally just did that. I had him use his specials to participate in the chain attack. Why does that still say 0 out of 15? Okay, that's weird. I cannot disregard my support duties either. There we go, took part in three chain attacks. Okay. Now where's the blasted arm move? That's what I actually came here looking for. What? Launch and smash happened in basically the same instant. What? Oh, I think we've been spotted. Darn it! I wanted to get him to level 3 there. Where is this stupid armor already? This is becoming nature makes a fine ally. Hmm. 
Perhaps I'll have another. There he is. Running low on bonbons, that's kind of not good. You cannot run! Give up! Give up! If Turk can take cattle, mother be pleased! Everyone please, rejoice, rejoice! I feel bad crashing your party, boys, but we'll be having that armu back. You what? I'm sorry, but there's a little boy who's eagerly awaiting her return. You lie! Liar, liar, great big liar, we find first! You give proof! Give! Give! Very well. Let's see. Do either of you happen to remember what her name was? Uh, Nebish? Sheepish? No, hang on. Easy there, Prince. You're embarrassing yourself. The three we were looking for were Yoma, Aji, and then Washish. <laughs> yes, there's our Washish, no doubt about it. The kid's good at training them, I'll give him that. Although, apparently, he can't make them homing armors. Nonsense! Is make no sense! Names sound like delicious! Me hungry! Getting more hungry! We take armu, No contest! Oh, bother. I'd really hope to resolve this peacefully. We tried, Your Majesty. We tried. Fine, if this is how you want it. Everyone, protect the armu. <laughs> Another level up. Where's the next one? Where's the next one? Oh, there it is. Okay, uh, he's trying to use the armor who's covering, would appear. What? Now what? Ah. Okay, Washish, well, will you go back You're home now, please? You're looking ahead, Adam. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh? Such as? Just don't shoulder all the burden yourself. You have us to rely on too sometimes. Okay, are you finished with your conversation? Yes? Okay, let's talk to Washish. Ah, uh, that must have been scary, hmm? You're alright. Let's get you home. One. This is becoming addictive. <sighs> That's one, and uh, we are over time, so we can't go to the others. Okay, let's do a bit of quick skip travel, and then we will call this episode done for now. Okay, this is where we started when we were following the armor track, so let's head back there. Pleasant stroll. Right. Where shall we head to next? Okay. So. So there was. Like, isn't this the one we just followed? Okay. Well, anyway, we have these two now. So I think we'll do this one next, but in the next episode because this one has reached the end. It's been pretty productive. A couple side quests. Uh, well, one side quest finished, and uh, I'm not, uh, several more started, and some main quest stuff more or less taken care of. 
But we still have a long way to go. We got to do lots of side quests. <sighs> but eh, that's not too bad. So, viewers, thank you very much for watching. Let's play Torn of the Golden Country. And, as I said, in the next episode, more side quests. See you then.